You do not seem to realize the way you can be domineering and even when you are nice. <laughs> no, I do. It is always in the context of imposing your low opinion of those around you as being the truth of those people. I will tell you the truth of what I experience. If I did not, you would not stop. And it seems to me that you would not care when all is silent and subtle. Um, uh, imposing your low opinion of those around you. Well, you feel that way because I've shared an opinion of you that you think is low, and that's not true. That's not all I do. It depends on the person. See, you just like, you think, the way I'm treating you, you're generalizing it. Like I treat everybody exactly the same, where it's obvious I don't. Make clear your intention and be honest. I have. I told you. I will destroy you in your eugenics, soft on eugenics, bullshit, error ways of thinking. You are not half between me and reality. You are in unreality. And I'm sorry. That's just where you are. And if you think I think everybody is there, then you're in wrong. And I could tell you a lot of people that are not in the bad state of confusion that you are in or megalomania or any of those things. You know, and I believe that we all have a right to work through those things, but it's not by me coddling and enabling your egotism and, and projection. I want the communication to be clear between us. Well, I, I have taken you at your word on that. I don't think it's probably true, but I'm going to make it clear, ain't I? If it was not for my effort in that regard, it seems you would not care how confusing things got. I do not like it always falling on me to do what is right, to carry the whole world on my shoulders. You lost at sea, and if I do not rescue you, you would drown. You do not seem to care you are drowning. I breathe water. I'm a merman. Uh, I'm past rescue, anyway. Four, I do not want to be challenged. It is how I evolve and strengthen my philosophy. Oh, I'm sorry. I do want to be challenged. It is how I evolve and strengthen my philosophy. Well, you bitch a lot about it. And keep saying, and I am greedy for strength and values, beauty and righteousness, but I am also generous in that I want to give the gems I have forged back to the world because it would please me to see a bit of light in the world. My light, my light that I gave to the world. It's all about me, my light, my light, my light. I live for the beautiful sky, for the day when the long sought after truth is real in this world. Righteousness exists way up high above that most miss going about their business, but it is so there, so waiting to be acted on. Okay, my confession is you have convinced me to go with my sense of righteousness. Unfortunately, perhaps ironically, my sense of righteousness judges you as not righteous. Okay? Okay. Five, I. These derogatory names you call me, egoistic, megalomanic, moron, etc. I did not call you a moron, I don't believe. I believe I called you a maroon. Very different. M-A-R-O-O-N. They are not true. They are how you perceive me. Oh, I, I, that's just the tip of the iceberg of how I perceive you. Uh, I'm being very reserved and also uh, there's a aspect of, uh, you know, it's hard to describe the bulk of the iceberg. It is underwater after all. They are the distaste you feel. Uh, distaste? No. I'm, I'm trying to help you. You don't think so, but I'm trying to help you. If you're going to come to me with this stuff and you have the resilience that you just keep coming, then I'm helping you. I am the lathe upon which you have decided to be shaped into something reasonably symmetrical. They are the distaste you feel because of how I countered the way you were acting in the first place. I don't even know what you're talking about. You countered the way I was acting. Really, have I changed the way I was acting? You th I'm here to be countered. You just don't get it. For some reason, you cannot believe that the words I speak really do match who I am, truly within. You think it is all a show, and I'm trying to get something from people in doing so. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you know yourself. Socrates says, know thyself. But I really do describe my feelings and who I am. I, I believe that. Uh, they just don't represent reality. Your feelings are converted. There is a vast interior of beauty within. Yes, there is. If I would only tap into it. Yes, you should. I can become who I am inside, outside. Yeah, I tried to help you with that. When, when first before 
I thought you were really locked in your hard place and you were talking about the beauty of earth I was going yeah look to nature for righteousness look into nature and see what is righteous about nature and see what is not righteous and in there you can find the answers you claim that you will have by some other means that involves ignoring nature and you said you respected mother earth and then I said great then what you want and what you can do can be united and you're like no I'm just gonna look at my brain it's really about me and I said oh I see you're a fallen butterfly and the temperature has dropped and now it is too late in the evening for you to get back up on the tree and you will not make it through the night unless you climb up the side of the tree What I've done is an insane leap in the sense that it did not seem like some flower could last the storm, but it has and is proving essential to my strength. Others can achieve the same if they seek beauty. I'm way ahead of you is the thing. Right, let's go on to point two. A few years ago, I watched one video on Pyrrhonism by you. I saw you as ordinary but impassioned in it, and then when I somehow wandered back in search of a person who could present relativism, I realized you were that guy and I got a little fascinated by your videos, and I saw you in an ideal sense based on the best I saw of you. Yeah, and I try to destroy that. I try to make that not happen, because that's spooky. I had a clean, clear, and pure view of things of you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You had a self-deluded, self-serving, blind, solipsistic view of me. Real people do have flaws in reality. Real people should not be idealized. Then when I joined the conversation, it was ordinary and I sought to challenge you and see if there was a higher philosophy than yours or whether you yours could last my criticism. Actually, you watched and commented for, I don't know, six months or a year before that happened. And it was because you said, I like that. You, you kept saying things about how great and internally powerful you were. And I'm like, I don't want to pick on this guy for that. I'm say he's crazy. He's being nice. And then you said, I like to be challenged. I have the answers and I want to be challenged and I want to be worked on the weathering stone of the weather. Well, then you came out of your cave into the storm and I am the storm as far as you are concerned Adam don't blame me go back in your cave if you want stop saying you can stand it out in the storm when really you want it in your nice little cave yeah I think you're not happy living in that cave okay if you want to walk to your new destination with clear skies around you then you need to harden up you you need to be hardened up I did not predict that I would go headlong into righteousness right you're welcome that I drew you out of your shell and showed you. There was no storm then. I walked you around the garden and you pissed on some of the bushes and then I'm like, well, fuck that bullshit. I felt I had perfected my position for use in criticism, for dismantling philosophies. Yeah, but as I had told you, you just barely started. So then you come against me as if you perfected your position. Your position is like, it hasn't, it's not half-baked, it has yet to be put in the oven. Just be happy that you have dough, and now carefully do the next step and stop carrying your dough out in the rain. Then I realized there was a bit of an atheistic collective and chose to burst this bubble. To burst your bubble. No, you didn't. This is not how it went. This is how you rewrote history to serve your own idea. To dispel delusion. And this led me into reconsidering religious themes and things I thought I left behind for good. But they reemerged. Yeah, I would say that's because I demonstrated to you your real positions and real feelings instead of these lies you like to tell yourself. And that special feeling that made all right. I wanted to give that feeling a foundation and reason, a clear expression. It was vague, but I chose to follow it. And who would have known? Philosophy has emerged out of it, out of nothing, it seems. You are fucking welcome. Okay, I am a midwife to your horrid little uh, child philosophy because I believe in evolution. And it doesn't matter that you have evolution left to do because so do we all. And I am like that guy in uh, that British thing um, that, you know, all creatures great and small. Right? Sometimes he had to put his ass up his hand up that horse's ass, you know, it's just 
Goes with being a vet, okay? If you can't take the kitchen, then don't burn it down. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find my place here. This is going to be long. Oh, it's only 20 minutes so far. I'm a third of the way through, so I guess we're going. 